In this video, I'm going to give you the fail-proof, ridiculously simple techniques to dial in the perfect vocal reverb like this. You know when you bad, they gonna try to flirt. But it don't bother me because I had you first every single song. So if we haven't met, I am Jordan Eastler. I am an audio engineer based out of South Carolina. Shout out to the Carolinas. In today's industry, it's no surprise that there's not many more important things to a vocal mix than reverb. And that's probably no surprise. But what do you do when you can never seem to get that reverb perfect for those vocals? You do sometimes, but the other 90% of the times is just not it. Today, you get that solution. Let's go ahead and dive straight into Pro Tools. I'll show you how you get that perfect vocal reverb every single time. Let's go. Let me quickly just kind of show you what we got so it's not chaos. So basically what we got here, we got a track by my guy every second. It's a track called Tattoo. It is out right now if you want to go check it out. Ridiculously talented artist. But the key things that I want to kind of show you to make this training extremely digestible is above our vocal bus and our background vocal bus, we've got our reverbs. We have a send to our reverbs here on our vocal bus. If you don't know about sins, I do have a video that's extremely relevant and beneficial if you want to learn more about, you know, sins and aux tracks and stuff like that. I'll link that in the video right now that should be popping up. And then these reverbs are pulled up to an all EFX track, which is basically, you know, if I want to turn down my overall reverb, I just personally like to have it on one aux track. So, you know, say I'm playing back the mix and it's like, uh, too much reverb and just dial that thing back dials all the reverb back. So that leads us right into point number one, which is use multiple reverbs. What I've got pulled up here is a template that I'm using from my Record Radio Ready Vocals training, very recent training that I did for people just getting going in audio engineering within Pro Tools. If you want to access that, check out the link down in the description. If you don't have that, don't worry. We're going to walk through all these settings and all that stuff. You can emulate this within your personal workflow as well, even if you're not in Pro Tools. And I know what you're already thinking. Hey, Jordan, you said it was going to be simple. You've got three reverbs pulled up, my guy. Trust me, after you get this set up the way that I'm going to teach you in this video, you'll get that reverb dialed in in seconds. So where I originally got this technique from is I started to see Jason Joshua use it within his mixes. This technique, whenever I started seeing how they utilize multiple reverbs and how they molded the vibe of the track using multiple reverbs, it changed the game for me. Whenever you got multiple reverbs pulled up, you can just quickly dial in the vibe in a matter of, you know, pulling up a couple faders on your sins and dialing it in a taste. It's so much faster than pulling up your reverb and skimming through all the different, you know, different reverb types, especially if you're in a recording session and the artist isn't really feeling, you know, what he's hearing. You need to have these reverbs pulled up so you can quickly dial that thing in. You don't really have time to be sitting around. Focus on creating and locking in the vibe rather than trying to pull up 1,200 reverbs. Pull up one that works and dial that bad boy in. Do what sounds right. So let's go ahead and dive into concept number two, which is the reverb breakdown. So this is going to be the part where you may want to pause it and screenshot these reverbs. So basically what we've got here with this plate reverb, plate preset, pull down the pre-delay, got just a little bit of decay time. So what this plate's going to be doing is going to be a little bit shorter reverb, just kind of adding a little bit of space there. This chamber is going to be the plate on steroids. What I've got is I've got the decay time turned up a little bit, got a little bit more pre-delay, a large plate. So this is going to be a little bit more spacious, if that's a if that's a term you want to use. Then I think we just kind of rolled off some of the low end with the chamber. And then with the hall, the stock, the verb hall preset, just a little bit of pre-delay and a little bit more of a decay time here to kind of add a little bit more space but let's walk through the cheat code on how to utilize these so we're going to play a brief period of, of this song you know when you bad they gonna try to flirt but it don't bother me because i had you first you be in your bag all in your purse but don't i make it better so we've obviously got all these reverbs turned all the way down. Whenever I play that back, kind of start thinking through like, what does my vocal need 
to kind of start feeling like it's a part of the song, like in the mix. What do we need to add to the vocal? Or on the other hand, if the vocal is a little bit too bright and I'm assuming you've already kind of done some EQing, you may want to pull up like a darker reverb, insert your hall reverb. And what I would do is I would use some of these settings and just exaggerate these reverbs so you can really hear what each reverb is adding to the mix. That way you can appropriately say, hey, this mix definitely needs more hall reverb than a plate or this specific track needs more chamber than a hall. This is gonna make a lot more sense here in step number three because we're actually going to dial this in live. Hey, in the comments, I would love to hear your personal number one struggle as an upcoming audio engineer or if you're a recording artist and you're starting to record yourself. Let me know down in the comments what your number one struggle is because I would love to address that in the upcoming videos. And if I use one of your topics, I'll give you a shout out too. Cool, let's go ahead and dive into actually using this technique. We're going to play a portion of this track and I'm just going to kind of listen to like, hey, like what does my vocal need? And uh, we'll get a final product knocked out here on the spot. Let's do it. You know when you bad, they gonna try to flirt. But it don't bother me cause I had you first. You be in your bag, all in your purse. But don't I make it better when they make it worse? And hopefully what you're hearing right now, we're definitely not leaving the vocal like that, but hopefully what you're hearing right now is kind of what we were talking about, how the reverb adds different vibes to it. But let's go ahead and dial in the hall. You know when you bad, they gonna try to flirt. But it don't bother me, cause I had you first. You be in your bag, all in your purse. But don't I make it better when they make it worse? What's understood don't need to be explained. I found you, now I'm playing keyboard I put my name on it, like a tattoo, baby I put my name on it To me, that sounds pretty solid Say you just want a little bit more reverb You got your all EFX, man, just add a little bit of reverb overall reverb please do not overcomplicate it you know if you want to know more in depth about the reason why i kind of had certain settings within these reverbs you want to learn a little bit more about pre-delay and stuff like that we can make a video about that but for the most part i like to keep it so simple and if you're getting value out of this if you've learned a little bit of something we're going to keep coming with videos just like this so if you haven't be sure to hit that subscribe button like this video if you're brand new into pro tools i can't recommend this training enough it's it's a 60 minute in-depth training that I just recently released. It's Record Radio Ready Vocals Pro Tools Edition. If you check out the link down in the description, it'll route you straight to that webpage. This is a complimentary training to everything that we just talked about. You got a mix you got to jump to. You got to add that juice. You got to add that flavor to your tracks. So I'm going to let you do that. I'm getting out of here. Peace.